Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to my old apostles, great millstone, who rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim and great millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Shalom. All right. <clears throat> and then to sit down, going to be going into. Uh, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, fear, his fear uh, ta tactics, all right? You know, his uh, his fear-mongering propaganda, all right? Because this is how this devil, this is how he's going to uh, implement, you know, his MOTB, the mark of the beast. This is how he's going to, uh, that microchip, all right? This is how he's going to uh, implement his, his new, his new uh, world order. All right, that great reset. All right, ultimately uh, through fear, through fear. All right, and he's going, he's going to, uh, uh, you know, take away these comforts from you people. All right, which is all, is all set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shmuel Shah to happen. You know, these elites thinking, you know, they got it all mapped out. You know, and that uh, the Lord don't see what they're doing. You know, <clears throat> all right. But the Lord see everything, and the Lord is gonna uh, uh, entrap them in their own snare. Okay. All right. So let's get this. Oh, and before we get that, I wanted to go ahead. Got this information I'm going to, uh, and all this you can find on a dollar. Okay. The uh, New World Order. Okay, like the plans, the plans of these these small heads, you know, these elites. All right, <clears throat> they put it in your face, you know, they put it in your face. All right, and then you have, um, you know, you have so-called Jewish, you know, Edomites. They'll come out and tell you like they're they're worshippers of Satan. All right, <clears throat> you know, they're the synagogue of Satan. So this devil, his tongue is falling upon himself, all right? Because the Lord is putting, you know, uh, you know, putting the spirit on these devils to tell on themselves, you know, putting the spirit on, on our enemy, you know, uh, that's in different positions of power and they know what's going on to just come out and admit the truth. And all that is is backing up uh, the men of the Lord at the end of the day. All right, <clears throat> it's backing us up. It's backing us up, and it's it's proving the scriptures. You know, everything is is these scriptures can't be broken. All right, this uh, I'm gonna read all this. It says a new Seoptis illuminated illuminated I great architect. All right, and it says Lucifer. All right, and a lot of people get tripped up over that word Lucifer, which we're gonna get uh, in a blue letter right quick. Gonna get that in the blue letter. Uh, as a fourteen and um, select you. Twelve, fourteen, and twelve, and we're gonna read those scriptures. But first, about to get that word. All right. Get this word Lucifer so you can understand proper uh, context. It says Lucifer in the Hebrew, uh, 1966, it says, uh, hey, 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 it says Lucifer, light bearer, shining one, morning star. Right. You know, which we uh, we, we know that's a uh, title of our Lord, too, you know, and that's not literal like. Uh, morning star and things like that, you know. Which these these Christians they take things literal. Nah, that's uh, figuratively. That represents when you when you when you're the shining one, or you're a light bearer, or the morning star. You have you have all the wisdom. You have all the answers. Okay. Uh, it's another precept. The back of what I'm saying. Um. Bear me. 
wisdom maketh shine. That's all I got to put. Uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is, who is as the wise man? And who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. And the boldness of his face shall be changed. You know, so that's all that's going into. Not, you know, nothing more, nothing less. All right. So when you see this word Lucifer, it means light bearer. All right. That means you you have you have wisdom. You know, if you're the light bearer, you have the wisdom. OK. You know, you have the way, so to speak. You know, you have the truth. All right. So it gets it gets deeper. It says uh, of the king of Babylon and Satan. Hillel describing the king of Babylon. Exactly. So this word Lucifer is describing the king of Babylon. Who's the modern king of Babylon? OK, which Babylon the greatest is America. That's why the scriptures call it a mystery, that mystery uh, kingdom. Cut this. All right. <clears throat> So that's why this place is, is that's why it says mystery Babylon, because it's not talking about ancient Babylon. All right. <clears throat> the ancient Bab uh, Babylon, Babylon, uh, ancient Babylonians was taken down by the Medio Persians. All right. Now you got to get into prophecy. Only the, the elect can understand prophecy. OK, what is this Babylon that's going to be burnt by fire and things like that? Like. Because the scriptures tell you uh, the Lord is coming to take down, uh, you know, Babylon. All right. So like that's, that's prophecy, you know, and it will be fulfilled, you know, and that's why we bring out these prophecies. All right. Uh, it says uh, in the sense of brightness, the morning star, Lucifer. So that's that's what that word Lucifer means. So don't get it in your head like, oh, it's, it's talking about. Uh, what these Christians depict uh, as a, a red man in the earth and shit like that. You know, these Christians are bug out and they're going to be destroyed and killed by the Lord. You know, and if you in your right mind, you know, and you, 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 uh, you, you know, your spirit bear witness with this truth. If you're so-called black, Hispanic or Native American and your spirit bear witness with this truth. You know, you need to come out of the ways of America come out of these christian churches is 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 madness is bug outness okay come out of these different philosophies that's going to have you destroyed all right <clears throat> you know because christians they don't they don't get and then christians they can't say shit because they're christians they serve esau the so-called white man you know they serve this government you know they're sold under that 501c3 charter all right you know, which is like a, a text write off, you know, but it's things that they can't say. They're commanded not to say shit, you know, but uh, what they're told to say, you know, and then you even got this how you like. Uh, and then these these pastors, whatever uh, they're told to do, they do like they'll advertise you 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 jakes to go get uh juiced up you know to take this shit that's killing thousands and thousands of people you know <clears throat> and they're going to do the same shit with the RFID chip the mark of the beast you know they're going to come to your pastor and they're going to uh you know tell them okay you got to you got to encourage your congregation to uh to take the uh I'm coming all right, so uh, yeah, um, they're going to be encouraging their uh congregation to take their RFID chip to mark of the beast. Like, um, yeah, they, you know they're gonna, you know how Christian pastors is. They all passionate and screaming and shit, you know, and they ain't making no sense. It's just straight emotions and lies, you know. Uh, fuck, let me see. Hey, son, all right. All right, uh, let's let's get the scripture right quick. All right, um, 
This Isaiah 14, I'm going to just get to the point. I will, yeah, I'm going to just get to the point. Isaiah 14 and 4, it says, and you know, this is a, uh, this is prophecy, okay? And the scriptures is not written, written literal because you got, you got, you got scoffers and scorners out there. They'll be like, see what the scripture says, see what the scripture says, you know? And then you got scoffers, they come from a historical aspect of the Bible. You know, because, yes, everything written aforetime was written for our learning. OK, you know, a lot of scriptures uh, that we bring out on prophecy, it be a, a lot of these scriptures that we bring out on prophecy. They have a historical background, you know. And we understand history repeats itself. All right. <clears throat> and the scriptures is written in, in a parable, you know, allegories. All right. That's why it's only only the elect is going to understand it. And Lord willing, I'm part of the number. So it says, um, Isaiah 14 and 4, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. All right. They go, they golden city. All right. <clears throat> Which that's going into America. Okay. This is going into America. It says the Lord, the Lord Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and they're the wicked because, they, OK, they're ruling. They're ruling the world in wickedness. They have the Israelites in captivity. You know, this devil, so-called white man, he's legalizing nothing but wickedness. All right. <clears throat> and the scepter of the rulers, you know, which that represents power. All right. He who smote in a. Um, uh, uh, you know, Babylon, the great America is ruled by Edomites, so-called white people, and they oppress other Edomites, you know, and other, uh, other, you know, races, you know, and, and, and countries. All right. <clears throat> and that's how you know who the, who the devil, who the devil is, who the wicked is, or who Lucifer is. All right. And. You know, the white man is ruling the earth. We can all agree that the white man is ruling the earth. All right. he He's that light bearer. He's that right now. The white man is the morning star. He's Lucifer. All right. He has all the answers. When you want to learn how to camp or cook, you know, or ride a bike or anything, or learn about things in space or under the earth, you go to the white man for it, you know. And this devil, you know, he does his homework, but it's, it's certain things that the Lord not going to give him knowledge on. OK. So it says. Uh, uh, he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger and is persecuted and none hindereth. All right. So the king of Babylon, he's going to be oppressing the whole earth, you know. Through uh, his, using his great sword, his military might, his power, you know. <clears throat> and uh, last time I looked up, you know, Babylon, the great America, it has the most nuclear missiles. All right. This place is the, like the most feared, you know. Look at uh, what America did with Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right. <clears throat> you know, and during the, uh, Vietnam. OK. Uh, uh, America has struck fear in these weaker nations, you know, <clears throat> but now America has to deal with Russia, you know, and China and Iran, you know, and their allies. Like so now America, Babylon the Great is getting ganged up on. OK. And it's all script is all written in the scriptures. All right. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to keep bringing out these prophecies, you know. We don't care if you're a scoffer at our job, you know, which, you know, which I deal with, you know, the scoffer, he's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, <clears throat> but that's why we, we, uh, you know, that's we, we follow after the examples of like Alicia, you know, <clears throat> we, we, we pray for the and King David. We pray for the destruction of our enemies. Don't I hate them to hate thee, O oh Lord? You know? So, yes, if you didn't know that, you can... That's what a cuss word is. A cuss word is not me saying, like, 
you know, fuck you or whatever like that. Nah, that's just rude speech. That's hard words, harsh words, so to speak. But a curse is like me, you know, uh, wishing harm on you, you know, praying to the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, that something bad happens to you. That's a curse. All right. And best believe I use, you know, those curses to put on the scoffer at my job. And you got to be patient. You know, when you're putting up curses on people that's against Yahweh Shemal Shah and his elect, you know, the Hofi elect, you know. Anybody that come against, you know, the Akim, you know, and uh, Akim and Akwaf, you know, and uh, uh, how you say it? I think it's, well, I'm going to say children, all right? Uh, yeah, we put up curses on these people. We put up curses on Esau, the so-called white man. He's putting up, you, this this devil, he's, he's doing so, he's enchanting. They doing sacrifices, blood sacrifices and shit. You know, they doing all they can on the left hand side to keep their kingdom, you know, and keep ruling and do whatever they got to do to keep ruling. So we're we're putting up curses on Esau, the so-called white man, on two thirds of our people, on scoffers that come up against us. And you got to be patient. You know, this truth is all about patience. So when you wish harm on somebody, you got to have patience. It's not it's not going to come with you on it. You know. All right, so it says, uh, uh, okay, verse 7. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. All right, so when this king of Babylon is taken down, you know, the earth is going gonna, is gonna, to uh, return over time. It's going to return back to the, as the Garden of Eden, you know? And that's how you know who the wicked is, according to the Bible. Because when you read the, the scriptures, uh, that they're wicked, they're going to be oppressing and destroying the earth. You can't get around it, you know. You can't get around it. All right. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the... Uh, Yeah, I'll just read down. I was going to skip all, all of it. It says, uh, Isaiah 14 and 8. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the sadars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no failures come up against us. All right. So, uh, yeah, you can take movies. Movies are a good depiction. Like the movie uh, Avatar with, the, you know, the blue people. All right. And you see the very nature of the white man. You know, he's a a war uh a warmonger, all right? He just takes peace away from the earth. All right, for you to not to agree, you're a part of the problem. Every other nation can attest to this, like other nations they don't like America. This place is a cancer on the earth. Okay? And Esau, the so-called white man, he's so, he's such a cancer on the earth. He's, he's fighting against his own kind. You know, a house divided cannot stand. All right. <clears throat> you know, only, only a wicked nation would destroy the earth they have to live on. All right. <clears throat> you know. And instead of scoffing, just fact check everything we're saying. You know, you can't fact check us just by mocking us. All right. Because <clears throat> that's what scoffers do. And they, they, they get emotional and they just they yell. Scoffers are, are good at yelling and trying to over talk you. And it's not going to get nowhere. They're going to yell, over talk. They're going to mock. They're going to ask simple questions you know and they're not gonna they're not gonna prove nothing like if you ask them a question they're not gonna prove nothing but they 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 want you to uh prove prove what you're saying and even if you prove it 
you're not going to get nowhere. All right. That's why the scriptures say, you know, when we giving out this truth, don't give it to. Uh, 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 don't cast your pearls to swine. OK. You know, so we we wise master builders. All right. We fish for the whole field. Like, we don't waste our time with guys that's like, oh, yeah, I just want to debate. I just want to debate. All right. It's like, <laughs> you know, for what? And they're not doing nothing on their platforms. They're not teaching nobody or nothing like that. You know, their sole purpose is to come against the doctrine of Yahweh Shemal Shah. You know? <clears throat> but we understand the Lord controls everything. And they're going to be destroyed. All right? It's, all, it's, it's a spiritual war that we're in. You know? So we just got to endure and have patience in this thing. You know? That's why scriptures don't say, don't let the uh, incredulity trouble you, you know? <clears throat> uh, it says, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, the other nations, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Right. And the hell, the hell goes into to destruction. You're being brought down to a low, low estate when you. That's why you got to get into the definition of words. All right. <clears throat> so this Esau, so-called white man, he's about to be brought down out of power. That's what they're saying. And how he's going to be brought down out of power through what World War Three. Okay. And also, the Lord in the, in the chariots. All right. These so-called UFOs, they're going to cover the sky. And they're going to be destroying uh, Esau's kingdom, so-called white man's kingdom. All right. Um, all they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we art thou become like unto us. Right. And that has happened. That That's happening right now as we as I speak. You know, America is becoming weak. You know, America is getting weaker and weaker by the day, by the second. All right. <clears throat> and these other nations, they know that. That's why they're going to capitalize off of it. All right. They're going to cut ties with Babylon, the great America. You know. It says, uh, as they're, as we see them doing, it says, um, thy pump pride is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vows. The worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee. All right. So that that's that American that American pride, that American spirit, you know, uh how they said for the Marines, the um uh the brave, I, f I forgot how it go. But yeah, that 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 pride is brought down, you know? So America is looking real weak right now. You know? America is not in its golden days, as they say. Uh, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? And that, that where heaven just represents being on top. All right. And Esau, the so-called white man, he's on top. He's ruling the earth. He can do whatever he want, when he want. The, all right. The elites. Okay. And of course, you know, their people is going to be in a better state than other races on the earth by default. It says, uh, oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. Right. Because guess what? You know, if you want to know anything, you got to go to the white man for it. If you want to go anywhere or know anything or eat anything, you have to go to the so-called white man, Lucifer. All right. Uh, other titles like Satan and the devil. These are titles of the so-called white man. Wicked. That's the title of the so-called white man. All right, because this is everything describes him. These are titles that describes him and his nature. All right. So it says, uh, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did us weaken the nations? Okay, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven and will exalt my throne above the stars of Rita for God. All right, which his name is Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north. Yeah. And that's like, that's the mindset 
and pride of Babylon the Great America. You know, people think this place is going to last forever. It's the best place on earth, you know, <clears throat> best country on earth. All right. Which in actu actuality is the worst place on earth. You know, wickedness, wickedness, it stems from this place. Because the wicked are ruling this place and the whole earth. Uh, I, uh, okay, that's it on that. That's it on that. Um, I got to read that information. I got that information uh, off of, you know, the dollar, which we're going to get in that. Because everything is in plain sights, you know. Uh, Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Uh, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By the great wisdom and by the traffic hast thou increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. All right. Exactly. That's the mindset and the culture and spirit of uh the these elites. Beginning with, with the with the elites, the gates, you know, the small heads, the Illuminati. All right, the rulers of the race of the so called uh white race, all right, which are Edomites, all right. So uh yeah, they, they have right now he saw the so-called white man. He has all the wisdom and understanding, you know, and riches of the earth. All right. <clears throat> Which the Lord is about to take all that away. And you can't forget how America got all this through violence, through war. All right. Through lying, rewrote history, you know. And that shows you how fucked up the, the the citizens are. For you to be defending a place that did all this wickedness, you got to be fucked up beyond repair. Like, it's no talking to a person like that. You know? And like it should it should infuriate you and make you like, you know how like you tear up, but it's not tears of like it's like rage uh rage tears like you like when you growing up you're 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 uh you're a child you know and you you crying and things like that you're not crying out of pain or 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 uh or nothing like that you're crying because you're so angry you know because you can reach that point you can get so angry to the point it's like yo, know, you you tearing up you tearing up and shit but it's like uh you tearing up because you know, you know, okay, you want to do something, but you can't do it. You know? And that's how that's how the uh the Hofi elect are. Like we we you know, we're in we're like vexed with the, the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know? Like brothers all across the globe gotta deal with shit, you know, until we get out of here, until we get on those uh chariots. You know, and it's like you, you know, and this devil, uh, he's watching us. You know, that's why we got to be blameless. We got to be blameless. This devil is watching us and two thirds of our people that are wicked are watching us. And you got scoffers that are watching us and they just every day they're going to entice you, entice you, entice you and try to throw you off your, uh, your, uh, your pivot. All right. Uh, I'm about to end it off. It's Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lee Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, now let's go back. All right, it says, uh, announcing conception, a new novus order, seclurum, secular new order. All right, so these devils, uh, they do that. That's the pride. That's the pride of these these so-called white people. The elites talking to the the the, uh, the big dogs, the chief, the ones that's ruling the earth, you know, uh, they proclaim, they openly proclaim their agendas, you know, and they know nobody can resist, you know, 
but that's why Yahweh Bashem Asha is going to take these people, these people down. All right, the house of uh, Esau, Edom down. You know, take the wicked down. You know, <clears throat> and you got uh, you got scientists that'll tell you the Earth is moving faster than ever before. You know, the Lord is shortening these last days. Like every day, you see a chariot. Every day, you see a so-called UFO spaceship. Every day. You know. If you wait long enough, you'll you'll count about a hundred. Just in a couple of days, you'll count about a hundred. You know. <clears throat> so we see how the Lord is just speeding everything up. You know, because this devil, this devil plans is diabolical. And if he, if this devil succeeds in his plans, no flesh should be saved. You know, his dream, this 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 new this. Uh, New world order would 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 uh, be complete, and this devil, you know, he will become a god on the earth. All right, you know, because it's all about power at the end of the day. It says thirteen letters and moto e pluribus unum, one of many. Uh, thirteen illuminated stars, thirteen enli enlightened colonies. All right, the thirteen colonies. <clears throat> Uh, it says, I think it, the words got chopped off or something. Uh, K, it says K N, uh, K N O, uh, one three seventy five, the United States of America, accept this in God we trust, you know, and this devil, he's this devil. He uh, his he he uses his propaganda, all right, to say like in God we trust, you know, because if you watch these commercials, if you watch these commercials and uh, the things that Esau advertised, you like, it'll be a simple um, uh, toilet paper commercial or uh baby powder or whatever like that this devil he's going to add beautiful colors in the tv you know he's going to add a beautiful woman and a beautiful child in the tv they're going to be in the most beautiful place on earth they're going to be in a mansion or whatever like that you know this devil he's going to set it up real nice and he's going to deceive you that's the same shit he does with in the god we trust you know they they worship satan you know, Babylon, the great America, worship is worship Satan. All right. And the spiritual demon, Satan, the angel, Satan, he works through you so-called white people. All right. Uh, it said 13 layers of brick, 13 original colonies, 72 bricks, 72 powers of the name of uh, God and uh, Kabbalah. It says MDCCLXX. VI 1776 date Illuminati form MDCCL XXX XXVI 666 all right 13 arrows 13 leaves 13 berries different powers possessed by the 13 colonies phoenix not an eagle rising from the ashes uh or I ignorant world it says nine tail feathers nine spheres risen through to return to heavenly state all right, so these these devil, this devil, all right, he puts his plans out front in your face, you know. <clears throat> so they're gonna start this chaos, you know, these power, these mysterious power outages and and shit, you know, uh, uh, these 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 industries that these industries that hold a lot of product and food and resources mysteriously catching fire and and all this you know it's the it, it, we we you know these devils they put it out front you know you have whistleblowers you know uh you know getting on this uh ex exposing this devil all right which the elder apostles of great millstone been exposing this devil all right 
But with that, I wanted to end it and give all praises going on to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Kakradash. Double honors to my old apostles of Great Millstone, ruling and teach well. And honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Abba, Abba, and Kormel Shalom.